92,003. That's how many people showed up to watch the Nebraska volleyball team take on Omaha this past August. Not only did this number make it the highest attended women's sporting event of all time, it exceeded the average attendance of all but a handful of big time college football programs, including the Huskers' own storied football team, which has never played in front of a home crowd so large. But how could a volleyball game attract 5% of an entire state's population into a single stadium? Well, that's what great teams do. And great teams have great leaders. Leaders like Lexi Rodriguez, a superstar who makes you think the ball might never hit the floor. During her legendary career in Lincoln, she has made a name for herself at volleyball's least glamorous and most difficult position. Her rapid reflexes and acrobatic digs are impressive enough, but so are the stories of how she sparked unbelievable victories in front of hostile opposing crowds, helped her team regroup in the wake of a heartbreaking injury, and broke a losing streak so bad it was starting to look like a curse. Now she even has her very own trading card which sells for hundreds of dollars but that you can't find anywhere. Lexi is looking to lead Nebraska back to the peak, and the sport of volleyball to the mainstream. Selling out a football stadium? Well, it might just be a sign of things to come. Crazy motions, that's for sure, that tunnel walk. Long before Lexi Rodriguez became a cornhusker, she had seen her fair share of corn. Growing up in Sterling, Illinois, a town of 15,000 surrounded by fertile Midwestern farmland, it was hard to miss. Her older sister Kaylee started playing volleyball first, and Lexi would often come along on weekends to watch her sister's matches. When Lexi turned 7, she wanted to pick up the sport too, and luckily she had the perfect practice partner. Kaylee played outside hitter, an offensive position, and would rip countless balls at Lexi in the backyard in order to help her younger sister learn. Lexi, thanks to the defensive skills picked up in these intense practice sessions, gravitated toward the position of libero, volleyball's defensive specialist who stands in the back row, wears an off-color jersey, and is barred from any attacking hit. In order to receive high-level coaching, Lexi started traveling to the Sports Performance Club in nearby Aurora for practice several times a week. During the long 80-minute drive, she no doubt passed by a whole lot of corn. Playing for one of the top club teams in the country, Lexi quickly developed exceptional ball control and ability to read the game. According to coaches, she was a natural, and by the time she entered middle school, she had become her team's indispensable last line of defense. After winning a club national championship with sports performance in 2017, Lexi attended a volleyball camp at the University of Nebraska, at which the impressed Huskers coaches quickly made her an offer. She committed to Nebraska that same summer, before having even started high school. Though Lexi knew early on where she was going after graduation, that didn't stop her from making the most of her time at Sterling High. A naturally quiet kid, she was embarrassed even to wear a Nebraska sweatshirt to class, not wanting to draw attention to herself. On the court, however, she didn't keep quiet. Her voice served as a calming presence, encouraging her teammates to keep going during a tough set or after a bad mistake. Lexi, as libero, led Sterling to the state championship her sophomore and junior year, and she extended her leadership beyond the gym, being elected as student body president. In 2019, she joined the US U18 national team, winning a world championship in Egypt. Unfortunately, Lexi's stellar high school career didn't end on the imagined high note, as her senior season was cancelled due to the pandemic. Looking to stay positive and keep fit during the downtime, she joined the school's tennis team and found that volleyball skills seemed to transfer. We don't expect an outcome and I think that's really helping us because we're staying focused and getting after every single point. Adaptability, whether to a ball's deflection or life's circumstances, formed the backbone of Lexi's character, which is why she was able to compete for a starting role shortly after arriving on Nebraska's campus as a freshman. Her steep competition included junior Kenzie Knuckles, a team captain who had served as the Huskers libero for the previous two seasons. An undaunted Lexi refused to let the battle for playing time get to her, and put her exceptional skills on display. At the end of preseason practices, head coach John Cook assigned her the libero jersey, and the demoted Knuckles, a consummate team player, made the transition to defensive specialist. 
the team's faith in the fearless freshman paid off, as Lexi averaged just over 4 digs a set and became the first libero in history to win National Freshman of the Year. A crucial piece to a team featuring All-American upperclassmen like Lauren Stivrins and Nicklin Haynes, Lexi made countless stellar defensive plays to lead the Huskers to the 2021 National Championship game against Wisconsin. But the season ended just short of the final prize, as the team was dispatched in an epic 5-set match. It wasn't just any loss. It was Nebraska's 8th consecutive defeat against the Badgers, a streak which stretched back to 2017, and a streak which would continue. For the 2022 season, Lexi and the Huskers returned to Lincoln with something to prove. Having lost several key players through graduation and transfers, the preseason number one Huskers took a little while to get going. But newly named Captain Lexi steadied them along the way by stepping up in key moments, including a memorable early November match at Northwestern. In the Big Ten, with its intimate venues and passionate fans, away games are the ultimate test. No matter how high your team's ranking, when the home team has you on the ropes, it gets loud. Great players like Lexi have an uncanny ability to tune it all out. Down 2-1 and facing defeat, she served out four consecutive points to steal the fourth set, and set up an eventual comeback win in the fifth, silencing the moments ago rowdy arena. By Thanksgiving, the Huskers had put together a 24-3 record, and still stood as the number 6 team in the country. However, what looked to be an upward trajectory took a devastating turn, as Knuckles, now a senior, suffered a season-ending knee injury just days before a late November tilt with Wisconsin. The loss of their team leader, who had played all 90 of the season's sets for Nebraska, took a toll on the other players, with some breaking down in media sessions when faced with both their feelings for Kenzie and the prospect of filling her sizable shoes. According to Coach Cook, other players needed to step up and he named Lexi as one of them. Step up, she did, serving yet again as a calming presence for a group in disarray. Though the team rallied around each other, it wasn't enough to get past Wisconsin, who delivered Nebraska a whopping 10th consecutive defeat, a loss which left many wondering whether the matchup was cursed. Still, the Huskers did manage to take a set off the Badgers, something they failed to do in the year's first meeting. After another loss to Minnesota just a day later, on an especially bittersweet senior night, Lexi reflected on her team's resilience in the face of difficult circumstances. Even though this past weekend we did come out with two losses, she said, I think we played a different type of volleyball that we haven't played all year, and we really had grit. Based purely on the result, Nebraska did not play well. But, a proud Lexi had learned, there were some aspects of performance that weren't captured in the scoreline. Even as a quiet leader, sometimes you had to bring the vocal positivity that was desperately lacking. We know that it's going to be a grind, it's not going to be easy, and last week kind of showed us that. The shorthanded team went on to play valiantly in the NCAA tournament, but met their match against 3 seed Oregon in the regional semifinal, running out of subs in the fourth set and having to play several players out of position. The hard-nosed showing captured the hearts of the Nebraska faithful, who had witnessed many special teams over the years and now had fallen in love with this team in particular. Recognizing the importance of volleyball to the state, the university in 2023 decided to put on a spectacle by hosting a match in the football stadium in order to celebrate Volleyball Day, an entire holiday dedicated to volleyball. That and they couldn't stand another loss to Wisconsin. Their rivals in 2022 had hosted a match in the school's basketball stadium, surpassing the regular season attendance record held by Nebraska. Since the Huskers basketball arena was a few thousand seats too small for a response, that left no choice. As Lexi walked out of the tunnel of Memorial Stadium, a routine usually reserved for quarterbacks and Herbie Husker, she couldn't help but smile. Looking out over the sea of fans, not an empty seat in the house, she stopped herself from getting too carried away. After all, they had come to see volleyball. Lexi recorded a match-high 15 digs while delivering a 3-0 victory for the raucous crowd, and the night culminated in fireworks. But rather than a culmination, it was just the start. Because this impressive crowd was not a one-off for Nebraska volleyball. Its average attendance is nearly 10,000, which is the full capacity of the Bob Devaney Sports Center, and it has sold out every single home match for the past 20 years. 
the waitlist for season tickets can stretch to decades, so the university should one day consider building a bigger venue. Or maybe it shouldn't, since that place has good juju, and the rumored curse didn't seem to be a curse so much after all. When number one and undefeated Wisconsin visited the number two and undefeated Cornhuskers in late October, Lexi had a score to settle. Though nearly Halloween, she and her teammates were not seeing any ghosts of the previous 10 defeats. The Huskers' libero set the tone early in the first set by earning a rare kill, her overpass landing squarely on the opposition sideline and sparking a 5-0 run. After closing out the first set, Wisconsin responded in the second and third, taking a 2-1 lead. Nebraska rallied in the fourth, setting up a decisive fifth set. In the fifth, Lexi made several crucial digs to set up the Huskers with match point. When a Nebraska attack initially appeared to land wide, Coach Cook made a savvy challenge call. A Wisconsin player, it turned out, had hit the net, meaning the point and the match would go finally to the home team. Lexi finished with a team leading 17 digs, but more importantly, the monkey, or in this case, the badger, was finally off of her back. It was super loud, but I think we kind of thrive in like big, loud environments. After such a legendary performance, it's no wonder that Lexi soon got her recognition. Just over a week after the Wisconsin game, Lexi signed an NIL deal with collectibles giant Panini, its first ever partnership with a female college athlete. She joined football stars like Quinn Ewers and Michael Penix Jr. in having issued an official trading card, her $200 limited edition card selling out within just 15 minutes of being announced. The weight of the moment wasn't lost on Lexi, who said she felt grateful to give little girls hope about the future of women's sports. But a card is just a card, and Lexi's volleyball career is not over. As Nebraska chases that elusive national title, she's putting on display for sports fans what the people of Nebraska have known for a long while. That volleyball is pretty cool. And there's a reason they sold out the stadium.